Mannschaft. So Sandra, really cool example of yeah, how our technology is being sure. used. We talked about AI and how most of the data flows actually run on Xeon. Raja talked about this great GPU over here. Um, I think what is left is really how can AI data flows um, really run not only on, on Xeon, but how can we add to that through accelerators like Gaudi? Yeah, so um, as you heard, uh, we have a broad range of solutions uh, that address you know, the broad uh, capabilities that customers require. But with Gaudi processors, we're able to actually address the highest end deep learning training use cases. And we see demand growing for these types of applications to deploy um, implementations of object detection or image classification or natural language processing. Like the Bosch example we saw earlier today, we have to train increasingly large data sets and complex models. And this can be very time and cost intensive. But with Gaudi, we're able to train those models much more efficiently and effectively. And in fact, Gaudi is deployed today in AWS's EC2 cloud, providing customers up to 40% better price performance than competitive GPUs. With Gaudi, simply put, you can train more and spend less. And I'm delighted today to announce the availability of our second generation Gaudi, Gaudi 2, our seven nanometer Gaudi 2 deep, deep learning training processor. And Gaudi 2 is launching today, providing uh, customers with a major leap in deep learning performance. And to talk more about that, I'd like to invite Eitan Medina on stage to show us a demonstration of Gaudi. Hi, Sandra. I'm so excited to show you the performance of Gaudi 2. We are connected to a Gaudi 2 server back in our data center, and I can show you a live training run from my monitor. So let's kick off the training run. We just started training the ResNet 50 computer vision model on a single Gaudi 2, the one that Sandra just announced. And customers wish to train more and pay less, so they care about two things, the cost of using the server and the time it takes to train their models. Model training depends on the amount of data needed to achieve the target model accuracy. And the key factor here is the speed or the throughput that the accelerator can process the data. The higher the throughput, the faster we can train, and the faster the customer gets a model they can use. The logs being printed on this screen show the live progress of the model accuracy and the throughput in every iteration of data. To help visualize the progress, we have on the left a live TensorBoard screen. And you can see that Gaudi 2 has already reached the steady state training throughput of almost 5,500 images per second. So let's compare Gaudi 2 to the A100 GPU. While Gaudi 2 is implemented in the same 7 nanometer process as the A100, it delivers twice the throughput for both ResNet 50 and BERT, the two most popular vision and language models. Now, we have already deployed a thousand Gaudi 2s in our R&D data centers, and Gaudi 2 is available for our customers. To learn more, check out my session at 4.30 today, and come see the demos in the show floor. Thank you.